How to Stop Your Phone from Overheating, Phonebulance.com. Hey guys, welcome back to Phonebulance, and today's video is all about preventing your phone from overheating. That's right, we're talking about those handy tips and tricks to stop that dreaded temperature warning. We'll cover the do's and don'ts when it comes to your phone cool when it's running hot. Before we get started, hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell, so you can check out our other fun videos. Okay, let's go! How hot is too hot? Most modern smartphones are engineered to operate well in temperatures between 32 to 95 degrees Fahrenheit. While they can survive a few degrees either side of those limits for a short period, phone users need to be mindful of how hot their phones can get, especially if they live in particularly hot or cold climates. What happens when a phone overheats? Don't worry, the risk of a phone exploding in a hot car is pretty low, but there are some side effects that come as a result of an overheated phone. The phone stops charging. Display brightness dims to the minimum setting. Cellular radio antenna enter a low power state which weakens network signal. Some apps and functions become disabled. Number one, keep your phone out of direct sunlight. This may seem like a no-brainer, but keeping your phone out of direct sunlight will help you avoid an overheated, unusable phone. Light and heat is captured and retained by your phone, as opposed to reflecting it back, meaning that it gets exponentially hotter the longer you leave it in full sun. Number 2. Take off your case. This may not apply to you, but depending on if you have a case or not, and what materials the case is made out of, it can affect the temperature of your phone. The phone is equipped with tiny vents to allow passive cooling, and many custom cases block or cover these vents. Take it off and let the phone do its job. Number three, turn your brightness down. This little hack is also true for saving your precious battery life. Turning your brightness down won't make the battery work as hard and will create less heat. There is also a ton of anti-glare screens that help your screen be more visible in low or full light environments. Number four, Close background apps. Just like a screen that's too bright, apps running in the background forces a bigger output from your battery, and as a result, more heat. Make a habit of closing down all apps after use, or install an automatic app killer to do the job for you. Number five, update apps and software. Developers and coders are constantly finding bugs and faults in their code. That's why some apps get almost weekly updates, full of bug fixes and patches. Many of these existing bugs can cause excessive battery use and therefore extra battery heat. Make sure you always have the most up-to-date phone operating system and app updates. Number six, airplane mode saves power. The more functions you can disable on your phone when it's hot, the better. Cellular radio antenna uses a massive amount of battery and can cause your phone to heat up, especially in low signal areas where the phone is working harder to stay connected with a tower. Switching to airplane or flight mode can be the difference between a working phone and the dreaded hot brick. Number seven, keep your environment cool. Even if you follow every one of these tips exactly, a hot environment or weather can affect the temperature of your phone. For those of you who live in particularly hot or humid climates, you can do everything right but still get the dreaded overheated warning on your phone, especially on hot days in the car with your phone mounted in full sun. Air conditioning and the use of fans can help but if it's too hot, there's not much you can do without turning your phone off, putting it in the shade, and giving it a rest. Number eight, don't put your phone in the freezer. Sure, it sounds like a great idea, but there are a few reasons why putting an overheated phone in a freezer is horrible advice. Firstly, if you've ever put a hot piece of glass into cold water, you'd know that extreme changes in temperature can cause glass and some other materials to fracture, crack, and break. Do you really want that for your $1,000 smartphone? Secondly, the freezer is a cold, wet, and humid place. The last thing you want is a water-damaged, albeit cold, smartphone. Number nine, if all else fails, turn it off. Sometimes nothing works. You've hit a point where the ambient temperature and the heat of your phone is just too much. What's the one surefire way to make sure your phone starts to cool down? Turn it off. A switched off phone produces no heat, and without external interference will begin to cool until it's operational again. So as a last resort, switch off your phone Place it somewhere out of the sun, away from heat, and just wait. And that's it for our top tips to keep your phone from overheating. Please like this video and let us know in the comments if we've missed any cool heat hacks to keep your phone working and cool. Remember to subscribe and share this video if you want more content just like this. See you next time.